Yeah. Okay. Oliver. My learning style is um, understanding learner and mastery learner. Okay. And then intelligence is spatial and arcane. Okay. And Great. when I chose this, I chose understanding and spatial. Okay. And what did you choose to do? It's a... Uh, to get a advanced project on the 3D warehouse. Okay. So, yeah. Excellent. Hey, no, that that does look kind of difficult. I, just, there, I there's a lot of steps to it. So, how would you so, how would you can you explain in your analysis? Uh, can you present your analysis? Yeah. Uh, I'll first like explain the top part. I think um, you draw a circle. Here, come down here. Okay. Put it right there. You first, and you can sit down. Right yeah. You first draw a circle, and then you use the push-pull tool to push it into a cylinder. Mm -hmm. And then you use the resize tool, this one. You use it, and you can resize the top smaller. And it automatically grabs the face, and it makes them slanted. So it looks like a cone like that. And then you can uh -huh. erase the surfaces. So it's hollow. Uh -huh. And the bottom, it's a, this will require more skill, because it's, it's not a shape that you can make with these tools. You have to draw it. It has a lot of edges. And after you draw it, you push pull it up, and then this part, you need this part which is kind of elevated. That part, you need um, you draw a circle on it, and then use the move tool, and you hold command, which makes the, which is kind of makes the surface stick onto the surface beneath it. So when you move it up, the surface kind of slides up, and it becomes like that. And then the pull part is kind of easy. You just push pull that up. And then this part, it's it's kind of similar to this cone. And then you just flip it over. It's the opposite way. And then see this part. It just move the cone, uh, move the top onto it, and then it's done. Uh, uh, okay, you gotta explain something, else, something to me. That portion on the bottom. The draw. Could you, could you, could you, yeah. Explain that to me again. Yeah. How, how did you do that? How, or how how would how would that have been done? Because I, I honestly I'm just looking at that for the first time. And I'm trying to think in my head. And you said you used the move tool, but you held command. Is that yeah. what you did? Yeah. I'll, I'll try to do it here. And then if you have a, if you have a circle on it, if you have a circle on it, and when you move it with the move tool, and you hold down command, wait, that just moves the surface. But is auto fold, so, so this thing goes up. Oh, the auto fold feature. So when you like move really closely, you'll see that it also has these um like ridges kind of. Right. Because mine was a rectangle, so there's only four ridges, but this one had a lot of edges. Right. So the ridges are more, so it doesn't show as much. What do you put a uh, circle at the bottom? What? If you put a circle at the bottom, yeah. pull it, it will be no ridges. I see. That's a, uh, yeah. Robert? How do you make the shadow? Oh, that just comes with the template. Comes oh. with the template. How do you do it? It comes with the template. Oh, it comes see, with the template? Skin the shadow too. So. Oh, I see. I see, I, I see. I, see. I think it's the Google Earth template. Mm. I have a question about the top. Yes. Um, it's when you need to put lines to hold the lamp shape to the post. Yeah, you, you should. But and where would the light bulb go? It's yeah, true. Yeah, this person who didn't even need one. This is something he found on 3D Warehouse. Yeah, I didn't teach it. Yeah. This is, that's quite good. The little bulge in the center, that thing right there. This thing? Yeah. How did that happen? How did that guy make it? I think it's made with a similar way as a top cone. Uh-huh. Except that um, it has a one that goes up and one that goes down. Ah, uh, I see. Pull the pose out. Ozzy, I thought you were doing the Jack Machine Gun thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. No, no. That's too advanced. Oh, yeah. Oliver, this, this, is, this is quite good. I like, I like your analysis, and you honestly taught me something that I, I very, very seldom, if not never, use that autofold feature. And I would not have figured that out until you told me. And the, your analysis of the cone is also quite good. So you drew a, for that cone, if I get you, you drew one circle, lifted it up into a cylinder, then you drew a smaller circle, and then... Uh, actually, there's another way to it. You draw a circle, you push it up, and then yeah. you, this resize tool can resize the surface. Yes. And then you can um, make it 
And you hold shift on that one. Yeah. Uh, ah. Alt, alt, so it goes inwards. Right. Ah, I see. So now it's cone. Quite good. Quite good. Very good analysis. Excellent analysis. Well done, Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. Okay. Um, Follow-up question. Did you use your intelligence profile to help you make a decision on the menu? Yeah. Uh, when I looked at it, there was a lot of choices. Right. So, so I went to the spatial one, and then I look at the options, so I picked this one. So visual spatial is high on your profile, and uh, high on your profile for intelligence, uh, yeah, yeah. and this one was under which one? Understanding. Yeah. And is that also high on your yeah. learning style? Good. Excellent. Great. Anyone else have any questions? Uh, or anyone else need to